Hey everybody, so today I'm going to be taking a look at power on my telescope and what I have here is a Deep Sky Dad Power Hub version 2 and I've had it for a couple of years and it has worked flawlessly, it still does and it has reliably delivered power to all of my components on my telescope and mount and I have loved it and I, uh, I definitely recommend this if you're ready to upgrade to a power hub. This one here is completely analog. It doesn't have any switches or control of any type. And that's why I'm wanting to upgrade. Really, the one of the main impetus is I want dew heater control. And I will link to a video related to that as to some problems I was having with the Celestron dew heater ring with full power running. And I definitely need to manage the power on the, uh, on the dew heater. But what I'm going to do is introduce you to the Wonderbox Plus version three. And I'm gonna go all the way through it. We'll start with a quick unboxing next, and then I'm gonna tell you all about it. So stick around. My name is Doug, and this is Astro AF. All right, let me introduce you to Wonder Astro and the Wonder Astro Wonder Box version three. This is the plus version. Um, it comes in a nicely branded box, well protected. And within, in my sample, I received a mounting chute. I have an environmental sensor here, which measures temperature and humidity so that we can calculate dew point. And I have a temperature probe, which will be used to monitor the temperature at the dew heater. I have a 0.6 meter, which is 24 inches uh, USB cable. And it also comes with an adapter from RCA to 5.5 by 2.1 DC 12 volt. They have a nice kind of a business card here, just information about the company. They were founded in 2021 and they came out with their first product, which was the Wonder Rotator, which was their version one product. And then in 2022, they had the Wonder Cover. Uh, that's an automated cover and that was, uh, they called that the version two. And the Wonder Box version two, which is the predecessor to this. And then they developed the Wonder Cover version three. So that was an upgrade on that automated cover. Wonder Rotator version two was manufactured in 2023. And then they updated the Wonder Cover to version four and then the Wonder Box version three, which is what I have here. And then in 2024, they started producing the Wonder Dew Terminator, which is a, a dew heater controller, which is cool because the, the dew heater power ports on those are switchable so that you can use them in PWM or in always on power mode. The Wonder White Dwarf was created in 24, and that is, I really uh, am interested in that product because that's a non-motorized flat panel and it's really nice looking. It's something that I think that would be useful for the way that I take flats. And then the Wonder Eclipse is an automated dust cover. It doesn't have a flat panel in it. It's just uh, simply a dust cover. You can reach Wonder Astro on their Facebook page at Wonder Astro. And their official website is wonderastro.com. On the other side of the sheet, they just have some interesting information about their products. And then inside the packaging, then we have this lovely, it is truly lovely, Wonder Box Plus version 3. And it's compact and lightweight. It feels amazing. It's all machined aluminum. And then I will go over all of the ports and configuration here. We'll get the camera a little bit closer. I'm going to have a follow-up video 
that will be related to mounting this on my telescope, making up all the connections, setting up the software, and doing all the configuration. So that'll be in the next video, so make sure and like and subscribe, hit that notification bell so you'll be able to get a notification to see this follow-up video when it comes out. So anyway, I'll move the camera a little bit closer so we can take a look at this in more detail. All right, I'd like to give you a quick disclosure. I negotiated a discounted amount in order to purchase the Wonderbox Plus version three. I paid that amount and taxes and shipping in order to get it here. I am free to review this however I see fit. And the way that I see fit is to share my exact experience with you along the way. And, you know, I'm enthusiastic about this product today. I think it's beautiful. It feels good. It's packaged well. And so far, so good. So I just want to let you know that as we go forward and I learn more about the product and I start using it, I intend to let you know exactly what my experience is with it at that time. So anyway, I wanted to let you know that as we get into this. And anyway, we'll go ahead and continue on and move forward into taking a closer look at the uh, Wonderbox Plus version 3. All right, let's get up close and personal here with the Wonderbox, Wonderbox Plus version 3 by Wonder Astro. And I think the first thing to look at is our input power. So we have here a DC input, which is a 5.5 by 2.5 millimeter input jack that has capacity of 10 amps maximum and that is a 12 volt. Next to it, we have an always on, this is the DC one port here. And this is appropriate for, in, in my case, I'm gonna run this to my mini PC because I'd like the power to always be on to the mini PC. I don't wanna inadvertently switch it and have it be hard shut down. And so for me, that makes the most sense. But you can certainly use this for anything else that you would like to. It is, uh, again, it's an always on 12 volt output and it is not switchable. And it is a 10 amp max power point. Now, if we go find the, the DC2, this power point here is adjustable regulated voltage between zero and 13.2 volts regulated output. And this is switchable, so it can be switched on and off, and this has a three amp maximum. The DC3, this is a 12 volt PMW switch. This can be switched on and off, and with the PMW control, this would be a, an appropriate dew heater control here. And this has an eight amp maximum. And on the other side, we've got three switches here for power. And on these, these are all 12 volt and they are switched on and off together. And there's an eight amp max total sum between these three ports. Now we have USB ports here, and these are power and data. So we've got two USB 3.1, and we have three USB 2.0, and these are all switch on and off together. These USB ports are all power and data, and they provide five volts and up to five amps of power. On the side over here, we have some small LEDs, and these give us uh, indications of our, uh, our power, our input current and voltage monitoring. So I've had this laid on the table here, um, so you can see, but it is 8.6 by 5 by 2.6 centimeters. But if we look at that, it's about 
a little over three inches by a little about two and a half inches and about about one inch thick. So with the environment sensor, which plugs in to this DHT22 port, when combined with the sensor itself, we get temperature and humidity sensing. And then next to it, we have the temperature probe input. And with the temperature probe, we get our temperature sensing at the dew heater or wherever you'd like to put a temperature probe. So with the dew heater control, with the PMW switch here, we get dew point temperature difference control. And we also get a constant temperature control. And we can also use manual control. And this is also, you're able to switch this off so it's not in dew heater mode and use this as a standard PowerPoint if you don't need it for a dew heater. Perhaps you have a different dew heater controller or you don't need one. The Wonder Box is ASCOM compatible. For mounting, it has an M6 center hole and then it's got uh, some M4 screw holes in the bottom. These are all four millimeters deep. These other two screws that are here are for, you, you can remove these and take the case apart. And inside, which I don't know if I'll need to do or not, uh, there is a, um, there's a button that you press in order to load the firmware. If you have a firmware update and uh, that has to be connected to the PC at that time and uh, running the firmware updater uh, while pressing that uh, switch that's inside the case. And then finally on this side we have the PC output. So this is your USB that will go to the PC and that will connect uh, all the software and switching through ASCOM and there is a companion application that you can download from their website which is called Wonder Empire and that piece of software is the, is the entire control system for this hardware and it connects via this PC USB and then all of the USB hub data through our USB ports are also going to um, interface through to the PC. So yeah, the Wanderer Astro, Wanderer Box Plus version three. So this is kind of a pretty cool little unit. Got a bunch of different power control, consolidation of data into one place and your power. And comes in a really small form factor and it looks really, really nice. So I'm looking forward to getting it onto the scope. Obviously today is not looking too good. It looked a little bit better earlier, but it's getting worse as the day goes on. We had some really bad storms last night, but anyway, I hope that you found this opening and introduction to the, to the Wanderer box plus in this case version 3 helpful if you're thinking about getting one at this point I'm still sold on it, it uh, I'm looking forward to getting it connected and and things uh, software installed and everything and see how things go so subscribe like this video hit that bell so you get a notification when I put out the video uh, next for the installation of this on the scope and the installation of the software and the configuration then I'll go through that I'll let you know what my experience is on that anyway I hope you have a rest of a wonderful day uh, whenever you're watching this whatever day that is and I really appreciate you stopping by if you like this video and and the content that I'm doing and would like to support this channel I've got some links down below I've got affiliate links and uh, I have buy me a coffee memberships and you can join for as little as a buck a month. I've got a Discord channel. I've got a link for that down below as well. 
So anyway, trying to build community, and if you're interested in, in getting together and, and chatting about whatever, then hit me up over on the Discord server. So anyway, my name is Doug, and this is Astro F, and have a great day.